Hello everyone, Gilly here. Welcome to Less Than Enough at Haskell. In this episode, I'm going to take our custom monad we wrote in the last example, and I'm going to use accept t to kind of bake in the error handling. So it's kind of a combination of using either and um, using our custom monad, except accept t makes it more kind of a kind of a baked in thing so we don't have to actually explicitly define error conditions ourselves so i'm going to need to import a couple of things i'm going to need to import control.monad.trans.accept to get accept t and i'm also going to need to import trans class so in doing this we can actually start removing the special case that we have everywhere for error sometimes it's nice to be able to uh have errors but not necessarily have your types explicitly have to deal with them everywhere. Like look at how much nicer all that got. And then basically what we can use now is we can use accept t and accept t takes in what kind of error you might want to return <clears throat> and it also takes in a constructor for the monad that you're transforming. Accept t is a monad transformer. That's what the t stands for. So basically what you're saying with this type signature now is you used to use RPS game of hand, but instead you want to use accept T where error is explicitly defined in the top level and the constructor you used to use is defined and the inner type is also defined here. So if we're using accept T, instead of saying error after everything, we'd say throw E, which is borrowing from the uh, OO imperative throw, error throwing. Um, and we're going to have to do this change. We're going to have to make this change everywhere we had an RPS game. So let's go ahead and let's do that here. Accept T, error, accept T, error. All right. And then playing our actual game is more of the same. <clears throat> we say accept T, error, RPS game in hand. So I think we're almost there. I'm going to run this. Now, this isn't going to work. We're missing one thing, at least, which is our play function um, isn't aligning with what's coming back here. So I must have missed something. Oh, it thinks we're returning back just an inner value here, which makes sense. So what we have to do is we actually have to what's called lift this into the monad transformer. So that's why I imp imported this class. That's where lift come fr comes from. But basically, if you look at winner hand, the type of winner hand is just an RPS game of hand. But we have to make it so that it gets wrapped with all this error handling stuff. So we should just be able to say lift winner hand. Let's run that and see what happens. Okay, we're still using one thing, which is just um, we don't know how to actually print this and that's okay because what we actually need to do in the end is we need to run this. So this is one slight difference. When you have an accept t you need to run it. Run accept t. So let's run that and in the end we end up with a winner rock. And if we have an error we end up with um, an in progress of a left of an empty game. So what an accept t does when you run it is it uses either under the covers to kind of wrap your different error states inside of your monad. So hopefully that was pretty useful for you. Um, it's pretty cool in the end seeing how you can kind of just use these monad transformers to wrap your existing stuff. And then you pretty much don't have to change a whole lot. You use throw e instead of your error that was custom before. And then you have to use lift to inject into the monad transformer. So hopefully this was somewhat useful for you. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see, please mention them in the comments below.